This video is sponsored by Care Of. Good morning, everybody. Hello, it's a new day, it's a new dawn, it's a new week, it's a new life. Wait, I think there's a song that says something like that. No, I don't think there is. Good morning, everybody. Hello, my name is Danny. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am sick. And I also have some kind of weird ass thing going on with my eyeball, if you can see. It's like, yeah, I'm not uh, physically doing so hot, but mentally, I'm like, by that I was trying to say quick. Do you guys relate to this? When I'm sick, I wake up feeling amazing. <laughs> like, not like my nose isn't stuffed in the morning, but like energy levels, I wake up like, oh, I'm totally not sick anymore. And then I stand for like more than 10 seconds and I'm like, oh no, I'm definitely sick. And I like, it like ruins my whole day and I'm way too tired. Do you guys have that? I, I hate asking you guys questions because you can't answer, it's really annoying. But anyway, today, Emma and I have no power in our house because we have a construction site in our backyard and they let us know that they will be shutting off the power for most of the day. So what we're gonna do is coincidentally, we really need to do laundry. So we're gonna go to Emma's mom's house who has a washer dryer because we don't have a washer and dryer because we can't buy it right now. And we're gonna do our laundry. Emma's gonna go on a bike ride. I might go with him, but honestly, probably not because I'm really sick. I'm gonna ship out some orders for my store. And you know what? The possibilities for today are just endless. Who knows where the hell this day is gonna take us? I don't know, you don't know, nobody knows. I mean, maybe it says in the title, but <laughs> I'm just excited to take you guys along with me and show you whatever happens today. I don't know what's gonna happen, but whatever. Okay, I need to get ready. Let's go get ready. We're here in the car now. As you can see, didn't have to describe that, but I did. And we're getting acai bowls. This place is hip as hell, guys. It's called a wellness bodega. Gotta lice all these bees. Is that mine? Yeah. Woo! It looks delicious. The last ones we got, if you guys saw them in our last, it was in my other vlog, they were much less vibrant. Like I'm used to acai and dragon bowls. Like I got a dragon bowl, he got an acai bowl that are very like bright and colorful. And the ones that we got last time, they had milk in them. Like they put cashew milk or coconut milk or almond milk in all their bowls. And so I think they put a lot of it in the last bowls we got because they were not vibrant at all. Look how pretty mine is. Do you see? Yeah. It's beautiful. <gasps> we got to take a picture for Instagram. Everybody takes pictures of us. Oh. Did you cut yourself? Oh, I have a band-aid. I'm very appreciative that you have a band-aid, but why don't you get band-aid brand? Because I'm a cheapskate. Anyway, can we take a picture before you make it ugly? Um, I'm coming in hot. Okay, I got it. Woo! Last time we were here at this restaurant, we were eating in downtown, or we were driving in downtown Nashville, and Emin ran over a big ass curb. I just put the clip in. Yeah, this happened. You haven't put it in the order. Oh. What the hell was that? A curb? And he thought it was a person. But I need to follow up and say, I'm a good driver. It's just curbs that I suck with. He's a good driver. It's just he stops way too close to every car at every stop sign and stoplight. And also, he runs over curbs all the time. And also, sometimes he just runs red light two times in our relationship. Evan has been driving, and I'm like thinking he's gonna stop because the light's red. He doesn't stop. He just goes through the intersection when the light is red, not yellow turning red, fully red. And I say, Evan, the light's red. It's red, it's red, it's red, it's red, it's red. And he's like this. <laughs> Because he zones out and doesn't realize what he's doing. We've done that multiple times. Okay, let me pause the video for a second. Let's talk about our sponsor. Hi guys, pardon the interruption, but I'm going to be telling you a little bit about our sponsor for today, and that is Care Of. I'm sure you guys have heard of Care Of, so I'm not going to go into who they are too much because they are everywhere. Let's be honest. I have seen them so many times before they even asked to work with me, so I was super excited to do it because I think it's a super cool company and concept, so let me tell you about it. It's pretty straightforward, guys. If you want to take vitamins every single day, you take their quiz, they tell you exactly what they think you should take and they give you these little packs individually packaged of a day's worth of vitamins and then you don't have to worry about buying a whole bunch of individual things or worrying about what you need to get they do all the work for you you take a super personalized quiz talking about your health goals it's actually a lot of questions it's super detailed so it's not just like some generic thing like oh they send everybody this pack or this pack like this is made for you personally these vitamins that say they're made for Danny are made for Danny and that's what I really like about it I feel like it's a great way for people who don't really understand vitamins or supplements like myself to kind of get into it and start some healthy habits such as taking vitamins every single day. Or they also have things like this, which is collagen powder. They have protein.
protein powders, they have little energy sticks, they have all kinds of cool products just for your health and well-being in general. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about my care of and what I got. So this little paper, it says made for Danny. I love everything, it's so personalized. And it basically just tells you about what's in the pack and you can also go to their website and learn in great detail about all the vitamins that they could possibly send you. I basically took the quiz and my top priorities were my hair, skin, and nails. Also my focus and my energy level throughout the day and my cognitive health is just the general goal that I had. And then I also mentioned that I wanted to work on my digestive health because as you guys know, I've been on this journey for a long time trying to fix my stomach issues that I've had for a while. I'm not gonna go into those right now, but it would be super helpful for me to take something for that every single day. So in my pack, the first thing that I have is astaxanthin, but it's supposed to be really, really great for your brain on top of a lot of other things. I have fish oil, which I'm sure you guys have heard of before if you've ever thought about taking supplements. That one is really good for your health among other things. I have rhodiola, which is good for your physical health, especially like after exercising, your endurance, stuff like that. And then I have a probiotic blend, which I'm really excited about taking and I hope it's gonna make a difference in my body. And the last thing I wanna tell you guys about is I was a little bit concerned about this myself. You know, they come in individually packaged, daily vitamin packs, I guess, and I'm trying to stray away from, you know, single-use packaging, plastic, etc. However, they are actually compostable. So when you're done with your pack, you can put it in your home compost if you have one of those or if you do some kind of other alternative composting method, whatever it is, these will degrade into the earth. So that is so awesome. And if you guys wanna learn any more about Care Of or about the vitamins or just any of the products that they offer, you can go to their Instagram at Care Of and learn about all kinds of things health related. And I think in quarantine especially, it's very important to be taking care of our physical and our mental health. So guys, if you are interested in this, go to Care Of, take their quiz. It will super personalize it for you and help you reach your health goals, whatever that is for you. And of course, you gotta use my discount code. Use the code DannyC50 for 50% off your first month of Care Of, guys. And that's not just vitamins. It's vitamins, it's powders, it's all kinds of things. They have so many options. So go to the link in the description. Oh, there's a fly. Oh my God. And once again, thank you so much to Care Of for sponsoring this video. Back to the video. I am sprinting out of the house right now because I'm trying to get to the post office before it closes closes and honestly this is a really accurate picture of what my life looks like most of the time i'm always pushing everything to the last minute and i'm constantly rushing everywhere and forgetting everything so this is just a really accurate little depiction of me i'm trying to get to the post office before it closes because i'm shipping out a bunch of my orders i'm literally shipping out actually every single order that i got if you guys haven't caught up and you don't know yet i have a jewelry store that i'm starting by myself and i'm the only person running it so like i want to give people next day shipping like day after whatever but my printer kept breaking. I know I said I got my printer fixed in my last vlog. Turns out I didn't. I just have to hack it where every single time I print something, I have to unplug the printer and replug it in. I kept forgetting to put the packages outside and scheduled a couple USPS pickups, you know, boring adult business stuff. So here I am sprinting to the post office. I, oh, okay, that's what I wanna talk about. I discovered this girl on YouTube, okay? And her name is Alexandra's Girly Talk or something like that. And she has like 4 million subscribers, okay? She's not like some unknown YouTuber. But anyway, she basically just makes videos about like girliness and style and confidence and all this stuff that's like super awkward for me because I don't get it naturally. And like, it's weird like looking that up in a YouTube video and like not just like knowing, but whatever. She made these videos that I watch that are like basics to like feeling pretty, I guess, and like wearing good outfits and stuff. And she said that your nails represent how well you take care of yourself. And I bite my nails and I also never paint my nails. So like the other day after I watched her video, I was like ferociously painting my nails. But again, I bite my nails, so I already have picked them off. So I'm going to repaint my nails tonight. And I really just want to like reset you know? You guys, you know what I mean? It's Thursday. Normally people would like reset at the beginning of the week or something. But I don't know, Emma and I have been talking a lot about our goals and our future and our channels and like our schedules and I'm just trying to really put out good content and be on it for you guys and in order to do that I need to be in a good spot mentally so I need to like restart you know guys like I don't know if you guys relate to this but like I can go 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 so fast so clean so fresh <laughs> But then I kind of just crash mentally after like a week. So like in order to avoid losing my freaking mind, I need to, I need to intentionally like take time for myself, you know? So that's what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna take some time for myself. I'm gonna take some time for my house and my husband. And we're just gonna have a nice little chill night together. Just you and me, you know, you guys and me. <laughs> What's up guys? It's dinner time. 
I'm back from the PO, the post office, and Emin, funny enough, he meal prepped. He meal prepped like eight pounds of chicken, and that's literally all we meal prepped. I usually would make like a vegetable with this, but I don't really. Oh, I have some zucchini, some zook. I really. <laughs> I have mushrooms, I almost said shrooms, but I didn't, and I have some red onions. So I'm gonna make a little saute action in here. Okay, so let me heat up this pan. You know some people say pan. Oh my God, Emin and I have been arguing about this like all day. I'm not arguing, but like we talked about this a lot today. Him and I say words like completely differently. Like for example, the word crayon, I say crayon. As I just said, but a lot of people say crayon. I'm not really talking about like, you know, international people, I'm more talking about America, but apparently crayon is more popular because I did an Instagram poll, you know, just because I was curious and that's what people said. But anyway, he says crayon, he says tour instead of tour, like I'm going on tour or something, or like, you know, if you were gonna go on a tour of, of a city or something, he would say a tour instead of a tour. You know, and he also says, what else does he say? Oh, we were also talking about the word cashew. Wait, cashew? Now I'm confused. Which apparently I just say wrong because I did another Instagram poll to see whether people say cashew or cashew. And most people said they say cashew, cashew. And I say cashew. Whatever. We just established that we say words very differently. I love all the vegetables that Emin hates. But personally, I really love zucchini and mushrooms and onions. Like that's like, those are like my top three right there. Top three faves. I don't know if that's like a popular opinion or not. I feel like most people think those are repulsive. I don't know though, but oh, I could just eat an entire onion all at once. You know what I mean? Not like raw and especially not red onion because red onion is spicy when you eat it raw, but like cooked, sauteed up with some other veggies. Oh my God, I could mess up some red onion. Okay, so that's like good, I guess. Maybe I'll eat these too. Okay, so now I have my pan heated. I was thinking about the way people say pan. I say pan and some people say pan. Ew, this lighting is so gross. Okay, so I just decided that I'm gonna season the crap out of my vegetables. I actually just did that. And then I'm gonna put the chicken in at like the last minute with the veggies because the chicken's already cooked, so I don't want it to be rubbery, guys. You never want to overcook your chicken. So I'm just gonna throw it in. Oh, the onions are really getting to me. <sighs> anyway, I'm just gonna throw it in at the last minute and heat it up, and then I'll have a little saute bowl of chicken and veggies. So healthy, oh my God. What's up, guys? So here's my dinner. It actually looks really good. <coughs> I drink Waterloo with pretty much every meal. I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing. I don't know if carbonated beverages like cause me problems or whatever, but I drink them every day, every single day because I love Coca-Cola and I would be drinking Coke if I wasn't being strict with myself. So here I am drinking sparkling water with no sugar whatsoever. Hi guys, what's up people of the world? So I ate my dinner. <sighs> Made my stomach feel a little funky for some reason. I don't know why. I have a really weird stomach. I know it hates dairy, but like, there's also like 80 other random things that I probably can't even name that it hates because like, I get stomach aches from those random things. Um, I'm gonna paint my nails white. I already had them white. I was just chipping them slowly day by day. So I decided I'm gonna repaint them. That's the move for today. If you hear Emin yelling, it's because he is recording his podcast. He records his podcast with his friends and it's very silly. And if you wanna to listen to a funny podcast, you can listen to theirs and I'll put it in the description. And then I also wanted to share like a conversation that Emin and I had. Wow, I sound like a podcast host. I also wanted to share this really wonderful, you know, conversation that I had with one of my girlfriends the other day. I feel like that's what they would say. Earlier today, Emin was getting down on himself because guys, if you don't know, Emin is trying to lose weight and he's been trying to lose weight for a really long time. And so he was talking to me, he was really frustrated. He was like, I've been trying to lose this weight for so long and nothing's happened. Happening. He was just feeling down on his diet and his weight and everything and I told him him and I have been Showering we've been remembering to shower every single night for like a month now And we've also been waking up at relatively the same time for like a month now And I told him like that's that's the win like that's the positive thing that you need to focus on here Like don't focus on how much weight you could have lost or what you could have done or whatever Like focus on the fact that you started two new habits that you didn't have before in the past month Like that's amazing and I feel like anything that you want to do has to have a foundation like Emin is not gonna lose a hundred pounds which is really what he wants to do like he's not gonna lose a hundred pounds overnight and he's not just gonna somehow be disciplined or have a better diet or have a workout regimen
regiment or whatever it is like it's not just gonna happen overnight like that takes a really intense person and a very like strong brain i think it's perfectly okay to acknowledge weaknesses and say this is hard for me and i'm gonna be honest about it and i'm gonna be hard on myself but not in like a mean way but just in an honest way and say this i struggle with so i have to give myself a little bit of extra grace when i fall because this is especially hard for me to do you know so anyway i was just trying to tell him that like it takes time and it takes a foundation like if you are trying to lose 100 pounds you have to eat extremely well at least most of the time and you have to work out pretty much every day now most people especially if you suffer with a food addiction or you really don't like working out or it embarrasses you or whatever it is like most people are not built and are not like i don't know their brains were not made to just like go hard every single day and work out and just like do something structured that's good for them every day like emin and i are those people like any goals that we want to reach it's really hard for us because we fall behind just like anybody else i get distracted and he gets down on himself and so i think that what us as people need to do when we're trying to reach our goals or when we're trying to grow as human beings we just need to focus on the foundation and the little things because i was telling him it's just like little building blocks like tetris like us taking a shower every single day which is something we didn't do before like that's a habit we sometimes skip or us waking up at a certain time every day those are both building blocks and those are the kinds of things that are gonna help us in the long run not just like quickly because i told him theoretically like you could go on some crazy diet you could do it for a month and you could probably lose like 30 pounds or something crazy really quickly but you're you're not gonna have a lasting mental foundation. You're not gonna have a healthier relationship with food. You're not going to experience like a true life turnaround because you're just gonna have lost weight, but that's all you're gonna have gained from it. Like you wouldn't have gotten any discipline or any real good habits or good mindset out of that. So that's just not worth it to me. Like I feel like it would be better for him to stay stagnant or even to gain a couple pounds and it would be for him to lose weight super fast and then develop unhealthy habits or even a worse relationship with food. You know what I mean? And I'm using him as an example. This goes for so many things. I guess I'm just trying to tell you guys that if you're trying to do something in your life, don't try and just do it right away and then get down on yourself when you don't do it right away. Like start small and start with like little habits that are going to eventually lead to you getting to where you want to be. So that's something I really learned today. And I hope that it was somewhat valuable to you guys. Cause I feel like we live in a culture of like, ah, I got a six pack overnight. Like there's all these like dramatic instant gratification, instant fix, like shortcuts, I guess. Out there and I don't want anybody to like fall prey to that because it never lasts but yeah guys I I love my husband so much he makes me so happy his laugh is so cute he was so down today and he was like I don't want to record the podcast like I'm in such a bad mood I just want to go to bed and I was like you know what just do it you'll probably be in a good mood you'll probably laugh whatever and do you hear him laughing that's just just a life lesson guys you know he didn't want to do his podcast and talk to his friends but he did it anyway and now i'm sure he's feeling a lot better and maybe his problem isn't fixed and he's not just gonna like you know be 100 percent better tomorrow but sometimes you just need a little pick me up in the moment and then you get better i don't know guys i'm i'm trying to be more positive in life i think it's really really easy to fall into negative mindsets and negative habits especially like in this time and spending a lot of time online and seeing other people's content and like comparing yourself and just like i don't know i also tend to be like overly like oh my leg hurts oh my house is dirty i just focus so much on complaints rather than positivity and so much on my problems rather than where i want to go or who i want to be or whatever and that sucks like sometimes i see a lot of things are like it's okay to cry it's okay to feel this like dive into your feelings feel this whatever and like i think that's okay to a certain degree but like if we all just like sat in our pain and like thought about it all day long and complained and were negative and whatever all the time like our lives would never get better you're not just gonna magically become a positive person by staying in the negative all the time like there's a fine line oh, love harry style there's a fine line between like being too positive and just being too negative like i think there's a happy medium where you can brush things off and you can move on with your life and you don't have to like sit in the bad feeling all the time and like complain and think about this terrible thing that happened to you but then you also don't have to pretend that everything's okay and like that you don't have to fix anything you know i think we need to be realistic with ourselves i feel like that's the biggest lesson i'm learning today is to be realistic with yourself and with your brain like i need to acknowledge my own brain chemistry whatever the hell that is and not compare it to other people's because like nobody's the same and nobody has the same processes and and chemistry like there's neurotypical people i guess but like how many people are really like normal most people have something going for them that's messing them up so like i don't 
don't know, I don't wanna compare myself anymore and I don't wanna be so negative anymore, just like thinking about my problems or thinking about what went wrong or what I could do better. Like, I just wanna be positive, I just wanna be happy and I hope that I can make you guys happy too, so. But girl, my nails look so good and oh my God. I usually do a really bad job painting my nails, but I did pretty good today because I was really trying to focus and like, you know, do it well. So I feel pretty happy about that. Hi people, it's me. Uh, I showered, I'm clean. Look how look how fresh my face is, it's so clean. My nails look so good. You guys ever, wa no, I almost said wash your nails. You guys ever do your nails and then in the shower you like pick all the nail polish off your cuticles? Cause for me that's the best time to pick it off. Anyway guys, I'm going to sleep and that will conclude this vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my other channels. I have one with my husband and Emin has a channel as well. I'm on all the channels, all the YouTubes, all the, the platforms. I don't know how to say this guys. Just Go subscribe to the other channels and I will see you guys in my next video.